Hello friends, this video straight lines part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched straight lines part 1 to part 3. Now we'll discuss a new topic called collinearity of three point. So it is told that if we have two lines which has same slope and they pass through a common point, that means we are talking about one line only. That is two lines will coincide. For example, here we, A, B is one line, let's suppose, and BC is one line. And both are parallel. That means they have same slope. Also, we say that B is a common point. So in such case, we are 100% confirmed that we are talking about the same line that is AC. Correct. If we have two lines with the same slope and a common point, then this line will be same line. We are talking about the same line. That means all these points A, B, C are collinear. Also, we can say that if we have two points A, B and C, then these points are collinear if and only if the slope of line AB is equal to slope of line BC. So if we have a scenario where slope of line AB is equal to slope of line BC, then these points are collinear. We will take an example of collinearity. Three points P, Q, R lie on a line. And the coordinates of P, Q and R are H, K, X1, Y1, X2, Y2. And we have to prove that H minus X1 into Y2 minus Y1 is equal to K minus Y1 into X2 minus Y1. So before starting this, let's draw this line. So this is the line we have drawn. And here we have three points. This is P, this is Q, and this is, let's suppose, R. So we have three points, P, Q, R. P is H, K. Q is X1, Y1. And R is X2, Y2. So we have three points, P, Q, R. Now we have to prove that H1 minus X1 is this minus X1. y2 minus y1, y2 minus y1. So if you see this, this is nothing but they are comparing, trying to compare the slopes. So this equation we can also write this equation, whatever we have got is y, y2 minus. So since we want to prove this, we know that this equation, if you divide by x2 minus x1, both sides, Correct. X2 minus X1. So this is cancelled. So this is Y2 minus Y1 by X2 minus X1. And similarly, if you divide this one by H minus X1, why I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to write this equation in the form of slopes. So what we get is Y2 minus Y1 by X2 minus X1 is equal to K minus Y1 by H minus X1. Y2 minus Y1, this is Y2 minus Y1, this is Y2, this is Y1. This is nothing but m of qr and similarly k minus y1, k minus y1 by h minus x1. This is nothing but m of pq. I am just using the reverse engineering way. So if we can, that means if we can start with this, I went in the reverse direction. That means we have to start with this m qr is equal to m pq and that is true also. We know that since if they are three points, they line a straight line. So that means slope of this PQ will be equal to slope of QR. Because this whole line has a single slope. You take PR, you take the whole line PR, PQ or QR, each of these lines have similar slope. So let's try to solve now. Now we can say that since, since, we'll say since PQR are Collinear. So we can say that M of PQ is equal to M of QR. Slope of PQ is equal to slope of QR. That is what we have got from reverse engineering way. 
so slope of pq is nothing but h sorry k minus y1 by h minus x1 this is the slope of pq similarly slope of qr is nothing but this is uh, y2 y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 that is the slope of qr now from this equation if you take this one we cross multiply what you get is k minus y1 into x2 minus x1 is equal to y2 minus y1 into h minus x1 and that is what we were asked to do. So we have proved it. Very simple what we do, we so when we are asked to prove something, we follow the reverse engineering way. So from reverse engineering, we found that we have to start somewhere like this, m of qr is equal to m of pq and that's what we have started. We know that this is possible, this is true because pq are collinear. We started with this slope and we found the answer. If we have started with some other slope, we may not have got the answer. Since we want to find the exact answer, we want to prove something, it's better to go in a reverse way and that's what we have done here. Here the question is lines 2x plus y minus 3 is equal to 0, 5x plus ky minus 3 is equal to 0 and 3x minus y minus 2 is equal to 0 are concurrent. We have to find the value of k. So they are concurrent means they meet at a point. These three lines they meet at a point. This is L1, this is L2, this is L3. So equation of L1 is 2x plus y minus 3 is equal to 0. L2 is 5x plus ky minus 3 is equal to 0. And L3 is 3x minus y minus 2 is equal to 0. We have to find the value of k. First, let's try to equate line L1 and L3. If we equate L1 and L3, we will get the common point. The common point is P, let's suppose. So let's equate L1 and L3. So we get, let's do it here. 2x plus y minus 3 is equal to 0. And 3x minus y minus 2, 0. Correct? If you add this to equation, what you get is, we get 5x minus 5 is equal to 0 or x is equal to 1. Putting this value of x equal to 1 in any of the equation, let's suppose we will put in the last equation. So we get 3x minus y minus 2 is equal to 0 or 3 into 1 minus y minus 2 is equal to 0 or y is equal to 3 minus 2 that is 1. Therefore x and y are 1 comma 1. 1 comma 1. So this p point is 1 comma 1, we have found this, this is a common point. Now since this is a common point, line L2 will also satisfy this point because L2 also has this point, all this line has this point. So we will put this value in line L2. So we get 5x plus ky minus 3 is equal to 0 or we will say 5 into 1 plus k into 1 minus 3 is equal to 0 or we get k is equal to 3 minus 5 is equal to minus 2. So value of k is minus 2. Very simple what we have done, we had three equations, we formed a graph and we found that there should be a common point that is common to all these three lines. We solved equation 1 and equation 3, we found a common point, common point turned out to be 1 comma 1 and since line L2 will also pass through this 1 comma 1, 1 comma 1 will also satisfy line 1, line L2. We have put 1 comma 1 in this line L2 and we got the value of k that is minus 2. Let's take one more question. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.